everyone. It's Stephanie Nipper, author of The Peculiar Miracles of Antoinette Martin. Do you remember a few videos ago where I showed you how to lock spin that lovely gray and white Cotswold fleece I have? Well, today I'm going to show you how to how to ply that fleece. I've got my Echo, my Spin Illusion Echo wheel set up, and I have a bobbin full of the Cotswold fleece, which I will be plying with a commercially prepared mohair. So stay tuned and so we'll get, I want to show you my Lazy Kate. It is simply one of those plastic bins, plastic storage bins, and it has holes along the outside. I think I got this at Target or one of the dollar stores, I don't know. But I've simply, I've got my bobbin on here and I've got a long knitting needle um, through the holes. And that's what I use for my Lazy Kate. The only thing I don't like really is there's no tension on the wheel, so when it gets, or on the bobbin, so when it gets spinning, it can spin a little bit too fast, but you know, we make do with what we have, don't we? And then this is the commercially prepared mohair thread that I am going to be plying the Cotswold fleece with. And I chose this specifically because you can see that the mohair is a little bit fuzzy there. I think it'll really complement the Cotswold without detracting from it because remember in the last video I told you that when I'm spinning especially when I'm spinning a textured yarn I really want to um, bring out the character of that particular fleece so that's why I chose to ply this yarn with something that would enhance the natural beauty of the okay. fleece. So now we are ready to ply. I have my mohair prepared thread on my left side and I have my spun Cotswold fleece on my right side. You could switch it up, it doesn't really matter. This is just what worked best for me in this situation. So I have my leader already set up on my spinning wheel and what I'm going to do is just open it up. I've got the mohair and the Cotswold together. Some people tie them together. Again, I mentioned before I don't do that, I just thread them let me see if I can show you a little better. I open up the leader. I have my mohair and Cotswold together, put them through here, and double them back on themselves, okay? Now, because I am plying, I spun my yarn clockwise to the right. I'm going to ply counterclockwise to the left. I have my whirl set up on the largest ratio, and what I'm going to do when I'm plying this yarn, when you're plying, it's all about, oh my, it's tangled here. It's all about the um, angle at which you're going to hold your, your yarn. So with this one, in the past, if you're making, let's, for example, if you're making a yarn that you want to add more textured to, you might want to coil the Cotswold or whatever other lock spin yarn you have onto your prepared, um, your prepared thread. And it, if you were doing that, you would hold it at a 90 degree angle. This one, I simply want the um, plying to add a little bit of stability to the yarn, but not to change anything about it. So I am holding these at, you can see the just like, like a Y. And I'm just letting them go together. It's really easy goes through onto the wheel nicely. Here we go. And it helps. I feel like it provides a little bit of stability. Um, in some cases, if I wanted a little more texture, what I would do is hold it like this and see that this has a little bit more texture than when I'm holding the yarn this way. Okay, but what I want is I don't want a really textured yarn, or I feel like I have enough texture in the Cotswold, so I'm simply letting it go on like a Y here. Sort of a, they're at a 45 degree angle, and I'm really just then letting it go onto the wheel. I'm keeping the tension. Um, I'm keeping this 
straight. I don't want it to kink up like that. So um, I don't have a lot of tension on my wheel. In fact, I might loosen it up a little bit so it goes on faster. Because what you don't want to do is lose all of the twist that you've put into your yarn. Because um, this is a thicker yarn, so when you went to spin it, I'm sure that you, um, you didn't put as much twist into it. So you want it to get on the wheel quickly because you are basically unspinning it or untwisting it when you're plying. And if it's going too long, you are going to lose out. On, you're going to untwist your yarn and it's going to fall apart. So if you have too much tension on there, you can keep spinning and keep it in one spot and it just it makes a messy, messy yarn. But you see, I'm just, this is a really simple way to ply. Just to show you again, holding it at a V like this and just, I'm, I'm letting the yarn the Cotswold and the Mohair, they're doing all of the work. I'm just keeping tension on these two, one in each hand. You don't have to hold it this way. Hold it whatever way is comfortable for you. This is what works for me. And I'm just letting it feed into my wheel. The wheel is not pulling it out of my hands, but um, it is going in at a steady clip, you can see. And it's, it's just making some lovely texture. Let me, let me see if I can show you. See this? Isn't that pretty? It helps to keep all of the texture that was in that lock spun yarn, but it does so without um, being obtrusive. Now look, look at the difference. It adds a tiny bit of texture. You see this part on the bottom is plied. This part on the top is not. So both yarns are textured. Let me put my jeans behind here. Both yarns are textured, but this piece on the bottom with the ply adds a little bit more. Now if I wanted to increase that texture even more, I would hold my lock spun yarn at a 90 degree angle away from my mohair yarn. But I don't want that. I don't want that much texture in it. I have a Gotland fleece that I'm going to um, spin that way and I will show you. Whoops, a little bit of VM in here. I'll show you when I do that too. So, um, this is it really for just your regular plying. Um, I do this to add a little bit more stability to the yarn and because it adds a little bit more texture to it and I think it's, it's pretty. So, if you have any questions, as always, please um, ask away in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And happy spinning to you.